In this video, we will be doing an investment word problem. Last year, Owen earned a total of $1,456 in interest from two investments. He invested a total of $28,000, part of it at 4%, and the rest at 5.5%. How much did he invest at each rate? So I'm going to first assign my variables. Let x equal the amount invested, at 4.8% and let y equal the amount invested at 5.5%. So we know then that he invested a total of $28,000. So that means then that x plus y equals $28,000. Now, as far as interest goes, we need to use the equation interest equals principal times rate times time. Principal is the amount that you're investing. Um, the interest is the amount that you earn on that investment. And the rate is the percent, or the rate at which you uh, earn interest. Now for this problem, it starts out by saying last year. So the time is just going to be one. So really, we don't need to worry about time in this problem. So we can uh, say then the interest earned at 4.8% is going to be interest, that's interest earned. Uh, the principal, so how much do we invest at 4.8%? X. So it'll be X times, and then the rate is that percentage. So 4.8%. Let me put parentheses around this because the this multiplication looks like a decimal. The interest earned at 5.5% will be that principal, which is Y. We invested Y dollars at 5.5%. And then we know that uh, the two interests together, and I can write this as uh, 0.048, and I can write this one as 0 0.055. So the two together, 0 0.048 times x added to 0 0.055 times y, equals the total interest earned, which was $1,456. Right, let me copy these two. These are my two equations that I'm going to use. Um, let me take this one first, and I'm going to multiply every term by 1,000. So that this equation, then, when I multiply this first term by 1,000, I have 48x plus 
55y equals 1456,000. And then this one, I'm going to use elimination, I guess. I'll multiply every term here by negative uh, 48. So this will be a negative 48x and then distribute there negative 48y equals negative 1, 3, 4, 4, 0, 0, 0. Now when I add these together, these will go away. 55y subtract 48y gives me 7y. And then here I can subtract and get 112,000. Divide both sides by 7. And y is equal to 16,000. So since y was the amount invested at 5.5%, I would label this $16,000 invested at 5.5%. And then to find the amount invested at 4.8%, I know that the two investments added up to $28,000. So X then is going to be $28,000 minus $16,000. Which is $12,000. invested at 4.8%.